Emily and David, you've known each other from the first glance of acquaintance to this point of commitment. At some point, you decided to marry. From that moment of yes to this moment of yes, indeed, you've been making promises and agreements in an informal way. All those conversations that were held riding in a car or over a meal or during long walks, all those sentences that began with, when we're married and continued with, I will and you will and we will, those late night talks that included someday and somehow and maybe, and all those promises that are unspoken matters of the heart, all these common things and more are the real process of a wedding. The symbolic vows that you are about to make are a way of saying to one another, you know all those things we promised and hoped and dreamed? Well, I meant it all, every word. Look at one another and remember this moment in time. Before this moment, you have been many things to one another, acquaintance, friend, companion, lover, dancing partner, and even teacher. You've learned much from one another in these last few years. Now you shall say a few words that take you across the threshold of life, and things will never quite be the same between you. For after these vows, you shall say to the world, this is my husband, and this is my wife. We are here today to witness the joining in matrimony of Emily and David, to share with them in their happiness and hopes for the future. A good marriage must be created. It is born out of love, commitment and respect for one another and it is a partnership in which each can grow and be their true selves. <laughs> David, today as you take Emily to be your wife, do you promise to respect, support and comfort her and to remain true to her for the rest of your lives together. I do. promise to respect, support and comfort him and to remain true to him for the rest of your lives together. I do. <laughs> Mum and I are proud of the lovely young lady you have become. It has been an absolute joy to watch a very caring, sweet, talkative little girl blossom into a very beautiful, compassionate, talkative <laughs> and extremely loving young lady. Our walk down the aisle this afternoon is a memory I shall cherish. You look beautiful in your stunning wedding dress. Now to my gorgeous wife. Emily, you look absolutely stunning today. They say you don't marry someone you can't live with. You marry the person you can't live without. Just knowing I'm going to share the rest of my life with you makes me already feel I've succeeded in life. And it now gives me the greatest of pleasure to pronounce you husband and wife.
Emily, you're amazing. Not only are you gorgeous, but you're far too good for David. But you connect with him and you deal with everything life throws at you. You are perfect for each other and I couldn't wish for a better person to marry my little brother. How beautiful does Emily look today, guys? Go on. Emily, I can't believe how happy you have made David. You are everything he needed to complete his life. You're a kind, caring, and loving person. I love you in so many ways and so many reasons, but mostly because you are the one I can't live without. <laughs>